Hi Year 5, I hope you're having a lovely week. Today we're going to draw a classification key. First you will need to think of some animals to classify. I use photos from a spotting guide which I found by searching for wildlife watch and clicking on it. Then click on resources and downloads and spotting guides and choose the spotting guide that you're interested in. I chose bees, but you can choose any animals you like, such as garden birds or whatever else you like. Start by choosing two different animals. I've chosen a banded white-tailed bumblebee and a honeybee. Then think of a question that separates the animals with a yes or no answer. Your question must be based on an observable feature. So instead of, does it fly? you need to ask, does it have wings? However, this question doesn't separate the bees because the answer is yes for both of them. They both have wings. So a better question would be, does it have a white tail? Because for the banded white tail bumblebee, the answer is yes. Whereas for the honeybee, the answer is no. So the question separates the bees. Now choose two more bees. I've chosen a wool carder bee and a common morning bee. Think of a yes no question which separates them, such as, does it have white spots on its abdomen? If you observe very carefully, you will notice that the answer is yes for the common morning bee, but the answer is no for the wool carder bee so the question separates them. Now I'm going to try making a classification key for four bees. First I need to think of a question that separates the bees into the two groups I started with before. I could ask, does it have spots on its abdomen? The banded white-tailed bumblebee doesn't. It has stripes, so no. The honeybee also has stripes, so no. The wool carder bee does have spots, so yes. So does the common morning bee. So my question has separated the bees into two different groups. Now I can ask my two other questions to separate them completely. Does it have white spots and does it have a white tail? Let's look at the wool carder bee. Does it have white spots? No, it has yellow spots. However, the morning bee does have white spots, so yes. Does the honey bee have a white tail? No. However, the banded white-tailed bumblebee does have a white tail, so yes. So my classification key works because it separates all the bees. Here are some great examples of bird classification keys that Year 5 children did on RSPB Bird Day last year. Let's check what you need to do if you want to make a classification key. First, cut out and stick your chosen animals in any order. Next, write a does it or in is it question which separates them. Then, write more questions until all the animals are separated. Finally, write their names. Now you could try to make a classification key with more than four animals if you want. Good luck. Let's check those steps again. First, stick your pictures. Now write your first question. Next, write more questions until you have separated all of the animals. Finally, write their names. Well done, Year 5. I hope you have a great week and hopefully I'll see you today or next Thursday. Bye.